CarsCars.com creates connections that fuel your growth across the four P's of automotive marketing. Product, price, place, and person. This is Automotive Industry News. Hi, I'm Eve Rojas and welcome to this edition of Automotive Industry News. Our top stories, NIADA's David Brotherton offers a service tip and a houseboat you can drive. But first, there's new license plate technology in Dubai that should be appreciated by everyone except car thieves. Among other features, these smart digital plates can flash the word stolen to alert authorities as well as other drivers the vehicle's driver is not the rightful owner. Other features include displaying information about traffic conditions, updating drivers regarding road conditions, and warning them of accidents ahead. The Emirates Roads and Transport Authority will be testing the new plates through November. If all goes well, they plan to begin implementation in a year. We'll be back in a moment with more automotive industry news. Product, price, place, and person. These are the new four Ps of automotive marketing. It all starts with your product and connecting it to consumers in the right moments to fuel connections. That's the new four Ps of automotive marketing. That's cars.com, your partner in growth. Could your service operation use a tune-up? NIADA is offering a BHPH service operations training June 13th in Sarasota, Florida. Here's NIADA dealer, 20 Group's moderator and consultant, David Brotherton, with a sample of the service tips you will receive at training. Good afternoon, this is David Brotherton with NIADA Dealer 20 Groups and this is your operations tip of the week. Sourcing inventory. This is the most important thing we do. Think about the impact that the vehicle itself has on every aspect of our business. Better cars are easier to sell. Better cars are easier to collect. I don't think I'm far off when I'm saying the inventory acquisition is critical to the buy her pay her model because it impacts every step of that model. So expand your search radius. Don't get lazy looking to buy cars. Don't rely on one or two auctions. Time spent acquiring quality inventory is important and is well worth it. Don't shortchange your reconditioning efforts. We have a responsibility to put a good quality vehicle out there because it makes everyone's life easier if we do. For more information, visit NIADA.com and look under the training drop-down menu. We'll be right back. Product, price, place, and person. These are the new four Ps of automotive marketing. It all starts with your product and connecting it to consumers in the right moments to fuel connections. That's the new four Ps of automotive marketing. That's cars.com, your partner in growth. Now that spring is in full bloom, you might already be making summer vacation plans. But do you want to go by land or by sea? If you're the owner of an amphibious houseboat, you might not have to choose. Check it out. 29-year-old mechanic Theon recently bought a houseboat. He combined it with a tractor to build this unusual creation, an amphibious houseboat. So the reason I built this thing uh, was obviously I built uh, some amphibious vehicles in the past, like a Volvo here. I basically just bought this houseboat because it was cool and I wanted to do something with it. I was just brainstorming with a friend and we, we came up with the idea to put wheels on it to, uh, to make it amphibious. This vehicle is made basically with a, a 1967 houseboat, uh, which was you know, steel construction. And then there's a sprayer, which is almost like all the parts I use to, to, to donor basically for this, for this other build. I took them both apart, welded them together, spread some things out, whatever. That's, that's pretty much where we, we ended up. After finishing the build, which took six months and $10,000, he decided to test it out on the water. It's the only one in the world. Basically put an announcement out on Facebook and some other social media. You know, 500 people show up for this thing and, and uh, I'm there with a boat that may or may not float, so that's uh, a little nerve wracking. There's probably more ambition than engineering in this, uh, but I'm pretty sure everything should go pretty good. Um, Everything went really good. It, it, uh, it was a perfect day, absolutely perfect launch. 
top speed wise, we're, we're you know we're running an old tractor. It's 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 only got uh, 210 horsepower diesel engine, which is probably twice that much of torque. So it goes down the road probably 20 miles an hour comfortably. You could go faster, but I, I don't know. I don't know how fast you really should go with it. Um, on the water, it's uh, it's about five to eight miles per hour, I think. Um, but stability-wise, it's really, really good. It's amazing how many people are like totally enthusiastic about this project because uh, I built the whole thing in the driveway and it's right next to a busy road. So a lot, a lot of people drive by it every day and you know they've, they've really built up an interest in seeing what, what, uh, what becomes of the project. I'm Eve Rojas and thank you for watching this edition of Automotive Industry News.